have proved everybody wrong yet again. The winter, all oh, the, oh, the Portuguese won't like it in the cold. We are now sitting on 61 points after 26 games. We're 12 points clear of Derby who are in second. We've seen off the challenge of Cardiff. We've seen off the challenge of Sheffield United. We've seen off Aston Villa. We are 10 wins away from promotion with 20 games of the season left. We're on course for one of the most impressive performances by any team ever. Today was a different kind of game to the game that was on uh, against Bristol on Saturday. It was a hard fought first half. It was one of a uh, few chances in that first half. It was a very flat atmosphere. It was felt as if a lot of the South Bank had quite a big hangover after New Year. Uh, but after the half time break, uh, we came out really firing and created a couple of really quick chances straight away in the second half which uh, eventually we won a free kick, uh, not from Barry D Douglas's side, from the other side. So it was uh, Neves who stood up to take it. And of course, Neves so far has only scored two goals against Hull and Sheffield Wednesday. So, And they were both away, so it was his first goal outside of Yorkshire. And then almost instantly from the next uh, breakaway, Wolves scored their second goal. Barry Douglas right-footed uh, from the edge of the box. A great breakaway. The difference, again was uh, Ivan Cavallero coming on and really changing the game. He looks a lot busier than Costa. Whether Costa is still not fully fit, I don't know, or whether he doesn't like being sort of second or third fiddle behind Jota and behind Cavallero. But he certainly, Costa played better today in the first half than he did against Bristol, I felt. He, he had a couple of chances that he could have taken. He had a one-on-one, -on -one, similar to the one he had against Birmingham, but again, hit it straight at the keeper. Um, but yeah, Cavaliero looks really busy, really quick, really exciting when he comes on and it does help uh, having somebody like that coming off the bench with half an hour, 35 minutes to go to be able to take, to continue taking the attack to the opposition and, and he really, really did make the difference. So 2-0 uh, with around about half an hour left um, and Wolves sort of settled on that for a little while after a manic spell of those two two goals uh, very close together. And then uh, Brentford came into the game a little bit more, not really threatening at all. We defended, as we have done all season, really securely, really soundly. Uh, and then scoring the third goal, a scruffy little goal, but a goal which um, secured the three points and has taken us now to... 61 points and our goal difference which is the most impressive thing we've got a plus 30 goal difference the next best is Derby who are on plus 18 so that just shows you the golfing class between us and the rest of the championship it is a pleasure to watch this Wolves team at the moment and it's very very difficult to pick faults the only fault that I found in fact today was that we struggle to take throw-ins in our own half for some reason we come under pressure and we often throw it away from those positions which is I mean, a minor, minor de detail. Now at 3-0, we looked extremely comfortable and started to showboat a little bit more. Uh, some of the touches from Ruben Neves, even from Matt Doherty near the end of the game, he flicked the ball over a defender's head and can continued running with it. It just doesn't feel like I'm watching a Wolves team. It feels like one day I'll wake up and it'll be Paul Lambert with George Saville and Lee Evans in midfield and it'll be back to normal. It really, really feels like a dream and long may it continue. I think Saturday now with the FA Cup coming up against Premier League opposition, albeit at the bottom of the Premier League, it'll be interesting to see what sort of a team we put out and sort of how seriously Nuno takes it. I, the, again, a minor concern of mine is that the players, our players, might get bored in a month or so, of the lack of challenge that there is in the championship for them, um, so a cup run I think could be could be quite beneficial for the squad as a whole to have some real competitive matches because we haven't seen a bar Bristol and Millwall over this uh, last couple of months. We haven't really had much of a challenge in particularly the home games. They've been very very uh, straightforward. Let me know what you thought of today's game and let me know what you think of the rest of the season. My question today is, do you think we are going to beat Reading's record 
points tally of 106 points. Can we get 107? We're on course for that at the moment. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Goodbye.